I feel like there's a, like, very clear thing that makes you think that it is a cemetery right off the fucking bat, D. <laughs> uh, well, we just came from that big, like, group of coffins. There, There's a second cemetery on the grounds? That's the basement cemetery. Well, you know, what a... What if it's like an ironic courtyard, you know, that you dress up like a cemetery for fun? <laughs> oh, so sure. So that's the big secret about Vampire Hunter D is that it's actually Halloween and D is just taking it way too fucking far. I think that this is a real cemetery, but the thing is, like, it's only like, the ground is only like three inches deep, so the coffins actually fall into that basement that we were just into. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like Meyerling's house, right? This whole castle does not belong to Meyer Link. He's just, like, squatting here. Oh, okay. He's a couch surfer. But yeah, so that gate that we saw in the cemetery leads back to the main part of the castle, but we can't get in there now because we don't have the key. Instead, we have to face off against the rotating cube. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, th this part of the castle is mm, very high-tech. And so we have to face off against these new high-tech security enemies. We have to face off against Windows screensavers. Be careful, the flying <laughs> toasters are coming soon. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, we walk into a room and it's just a bunch of pipes shooting at us. How will we ever get through this brick maze? <laughs> oh god, I've reached the end and a new one appeared. When will the madness end? At some point, D is just going to end up like that guy on the island who constantly, like, has... Jesus, what's the name of that thing? <laughs> oh, you mean Tom Hanks? Yes, exactly. <laughs> he's just cast away. Yeah, he's got a fucking baseball or whatever he does in that movie. <laughs> Classic castaway thing. I, I think that's in... I think he does that in You Got Mail, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Did that dog just twist in half and fall over? Uh, maybe. You know what? Who who could say? D's, D's not responsible for these things, you know? <laughs> but we have sort of the main control room. Before we were in, like, the power room, here's where, like, the real shit is. It's time for an investigation scene in the Ace Attorney games. <laughs> That's right. The dramatic music starts up as D remembers he can't use a computer without left hand's help. Gotta put your Batman symbol in. Uh, Vampire Hunter D was the original Batman. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so it pulls up our map and sort of lets us know which rooms are now available for us to access. Things that were previously locked up. Oh, there are so many choices. <laughs> yeah! This has also opened up um, a way back into the main castle. So, the uh, game doesn't really let you to know this, but this is the uh, third floor of the castle. Mm hmm. Oh, I thought we were still kind of underground, but okay. No, 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 we got out from underground. That's why we were in that courtyard cemetery. Also, that door that you went in through while you were still in Technology Hill did not look like a door, and I would never have guessed that that was a door. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the thing about, like, modern architecture. It's just, like, it's a little too sort of, like, samey and a little too focused on aesthetic over functionality. Mm -hmm. I like that you've gotten wise to the game's bullshit, so when you go through a door, you instantly start running. <laughs> <laughs> it's instantly running and also get ready to pull my sword out at any moment get ready to lunge at some point you're just going to be throwing flashbangs every single time you go through a door <laughs> yep yeah so in that middle room that we were in previously we have elevator access Oh, I thought you were going to say elevator action, and we got to play some cool arcade games. Yeah, I'm also very disappointed. We do have a little bit of elevator action, but it's not quite the same. So putting in the silver key allows us to use the down elevator. Not the up one? No. Different key. 
And this takes us right back into the into the foyer. Does that mean we can we use the down elevator to go up? Uh, no. Well, you can use it to go up back to where you were. Okay. But it doesn't go higher. This isn't a wayside school thing where one elevator only goes down and the other one only goes up and they work perfectly once. No. But eventually we will fight the boss that is just like a bunch of rats in a raincoat. So yeah, as always, we've gotten more to explore in the uh, in in the castle now that we've opened it up, and it means we have to fight more of these fucking laser grits. I mean, you it, it, aren't those the exact same laser grits as before? As before? No, we're in a different set of rooms. You might be confused because they look identical. Yeah, but so I think it. Depending on how technically you think about it, it is probably the same laser grids. Mm-hmm. So, we went back here uh, and went around these enemies, <laughs> refusing to engage with them, in order to get the key to the sun tower, which is attached to that third floor sort of grid that we were in earlier. Yeah, it kind of seems like fighting two of those guys at the same time is a fucking nightmare. Yeah, because they can also both poison you, so it's just like, there's literally not an opportunity to, like, get good at that fight. It's just not <laughs> worth it. <laughs> yeah. Why bother? And they don't really seem to have, like, a lot of startup frames to, like, their leg attack heater. Nope. It's... It requires, I'm going to say, a lot more precision than I'm able to handle with <laughs> the PS1 controls. Oh, almost missed my ride. But as soon as the game is remade for the PS4, you'll you'll take them on. Someone yeah, absolutely. The power. Someone who does not want you up there. We should find out. Is D just a fucking electrician? <laughs> should try the power control room. Yeah, it turns out D was brought here not because he's like a good vampire hunter. He's just like doing maintenance on the place. He's actually the castle's new super. <laughs> All right, D, here are the list of things that you need to take care of every day to make sure they're working and in order. He's looking for vampires because they're notoriously bad at paying rent on time. <laughs> so we saw a version of these enemies in the basement, but now they shoot fire at you and they're really annoying. They have some animation. They have a lot of animation though, and they like kind of like blend into each other, like their models. So you can just like get them both at the same time if you're lucky. It seems like kind of all the flying enemies in this game are the worst thing to actually face. Yep. But that's why you don't have to face <laughs> them. Like, you don't get anything for fighting guys, do you? A vampire power, but like, not enough that like you want to fight every single stupid bat, you know? I feel like over the course of these videos, you are getting better and better at just immediately running through a hallway, dodging everything, and just not engaging with this shit. <laughs> I mean, that's like what most of these Resident Evils kind of are like, though, right? Yeah. At a certain point, you're just trying to get to point A to point B, and you don't want to, like, waste time or ammo. In this case, of course, you don't really have ammo, so it's more time, really. I don't know. I played the original Resident Evil 2 kind of recently, and I feel like one thing with that game is that it's a lot less space for you to deal with, and also, like, rooms look different, so you know where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that definitely would help. Yeah, this one definitely asks a lot more of you using your map to know where the fuck you are. Yeah, because everything is just kind of an Art Deco mess in this castle. Like we said, it's a McMansion. <laughs> oh, this must be a cutscene loading. Uh. Oh. Also, he was showing off his cool running man pose. <laughs> He's like trying to intimidate Meyerling. <laughs> what are you doing? D, 
Leave me alone! <laughs> Stop trying to kill me! I swear I was just looking at the news! You rewiring everything has messed up my Wi-Fi. And now, it turns out we have another fight with Meyer Link and it goes exactly the same as before. <laughs> Does this change if you hadn't met him earlier? Or? No, he's still here just like on the computer doing whatever it is he was doing. Like, I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to do the maintenance. I like still how the tactic for Meyer Link is just fucking hug him so he can't hit you. <laughs> <laughs> so, you are the one who got the power in the castle. What were you trying to achieve? I am tired. Hell yes, saves. buddy. I needed to turn off the lights, and I didn't know where the switch was. End my journey. Oh, well... <laughs> Apparently not tired enough that he can't turn into bats, I guess. All energy from the nuclear reactor is... Damn, uh, look at all this malware he downloaded. His left hand in your hat? No power. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're holding him out. But what the fuck is happening with your hat? Oh, you know, that's been through a lot. Uh, Dee's a rabbit that it keeps her as magic tricks was getting a little antsy. Right there. <laughs> I wonder what is in there. Now it looks like your sword's talking. <laughs> Can you is this all the, like, the basement castle wind? Well, like, I yeah, the AC's on. Okay. Oh, okay. That should do it. Shall we go upstairs? Well, that was a fun diversion. Guess we'll just run back up now. If you can make it back up. Yeah, I don't know. Look, I may have gotten better at dodging enemies. Cannot dodge the environment, though. <laughs> hmm. You know, it, it helps if you actually point at them. Um... <laughs> Uh-oh, looks like Layla's in trouble. I, I don't know, they don't seem that threatening. Not the two most basic enemies. Ah. Thank goodness we're here to protect her, or save, whatever. We're here to kill the demons. The Marcus oh. brothers wouldn't get Good down work. to chump chains like this. Damn, excellent work, D. You truly are a master hunter. <laughs> they are dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. They ran away. <laughs> no one could kill monsters that great. It worked out that way. Well, whatever you say. Grove! Uh Huh? Huh? So, um... <laughs> the vampire killed everybody. Grove is another of the Marcus brothers, Who and he it? can, like, psychically project his body. No, not Meyer Link. How many Marcus Brother brothers vampire. are there? <laughs> Five. We've met them all now. Oh, oh my so it's God. a lot like the Marx brothers? Yes, it's just like that. <laughs> Nobody ever talks about grow. Gumpo or whatever. <laughs> And it sounds like there's another vampire on the loose. See, let's go. Yeah, our job was just to hunt one vampire. I feel like this is gonna have to include a pay grade increase at some point. You know, you don't. You didn't look at the contract closely enough to actually get paid over time. <laughs> Sick ride. So, uh, can you do any tricks in this? God, just being in the vampire's courtyard doing donuts in this bad boy. <laughs> you got a bunk bed in there. He's dead. Slashed in the back. He'd been bedridden for a long time. Oh, so there's a free bed now. Cool. What did you say? <laughs> so what you're saying is, yeah, there's room for me. When he had a seizure, 
His spirit could leave his body. <laughs> uh, it's wild. a really fucked up thing. Like, they induce seizures in him to activate his psychic powers. Hmm. Like Just play video games for over one hour. <laughs> I want to stay with him a little longer. All right, I guess leave the work to us, lady. Let's check if the elevator is working. Just a lot of empathy out of left hand and D here. 